Guys, there has been so many major and exciting updates in the past few weeks and few months that I have comprised and bundled together in this video. So don't forget to like this video to share to more people and hopefully other people see this video and get to know the news I'm about to share with you all. So first off, we need to address the elephant in the room, which is Steve. I am Steve. I'm sorry, Steve. I'm calling you out like that. For those who are new to my channel, Steve is my bird of paradise plant. He is just right, right behind me here. I, I'm just going to be honest with you all. Steve, he's been my indoor plant. We moved about 700 miles this year. And from that move, he was looking a little bit rough. And I decided, hey, we live in a state that gets a lot of rain, a lot of sun now. Maybe I should put him outside. I put him outside and he kind of got worse. And now he's getting better. Okay, so good news for those who have been wondering how Steve is doing. Also comment RIP Steve. Well, no, not RIP Steve. I mean, I guess he's alive. What am I saying? So Etsy is experimenting a lot of sales features right now. One specifically being their Etsy sale events that are coming in the next month in two months. So if we look into this, we can see that there is a cyber sales event that's going to be November 18th to December 3rd, 2024. And then also a end of season deals, which is December 26th to December 31st, 2024. And this is something a lot of people have asked recently is, should I join these sale events? And to that I answer, heck yes, you should join the sale events. One of the reasons why is because Etsy has stated publicly that they will be showcasing and featuring listings and shops, also sellers who are joining in on these sale events. So highly recommend if you can and hit their minimum discount threshold. Now, if you click on setup, you will see that for the Cyber Saving Spectacular, they are requiring that you offer 25% at the minimum in order to enter into showing and being featured for this sale event. So if you're able to, highly, highly recommend for those of you to join this sales event. If you're kind of on the edge of offering this sales event, just know that you can do a quantity amount instead of just order total. Just know that you can kind of make the minimum maybe, hey, I know I will still see a profit if I make $50 in sales on this event and I still offer that 25%, right? So just keep that in mind that you can do something like that so you're not seeing a loss. Same rule is going to apply for the end of season deals, except for with the end of season deals event, you can have a minimum of 20% off. And I would, again, recommend joining this sale event. The other thing that we have going on on Etsy is now we have different promotions we can offer in our shops, which is so exciting. There is a option to set up to encourage bigger sales and bigger orders. So with the bigger order volumes, as we can see, there is a order minimum. Now, this is something that we've seen across Etsy in the past for more digital based stores or maybe other shops such as candle shops where you can buy two and get maybe 10% off. If you buy five, you get 20% off. So let's say in my shop, I want to offer 25% off if someone buys three items or more. Now, this is a huge opportunity to add to your photo card. What's really cool is you could always do a tiered discount too on your photo card. So with three items, it's 25% off. With five items, it's 30% off. And with 10 items, it's 35% off. Also, the other thing with encouraging bigger orders is that you do only get 30 days to run this type of deal and encouraging bigger orders. What I would recommend is maybe setting this up at the beginning of each month, and you can always add that to your calendar as a reminder, or just send yourself pre-schedule an email as a reminder every month as well. The next thing that you can offer is a way to cross-sell slash upsell on your orders. 
as you go forward in your business, which is coincidentally something that I just went over in my bestseller insider membership, where I did a masterclass on cross selling and supercharging your holiday sales by doing cross sales or up sales. So what a upsell is, is offering maybe a higher value product in which you are seeing more profit by offering that product instead of a different product. Now, cross-selling is more of a adding on. Instead of just the customer checking out and only seeing the mug, what Etsy is going to do is put it in the sidebar of the area where the customer is stating, hey, you can get these three items together at this discounted rate, which is a cross sale and also potentially an up sale if maybe the customer sees a different product that might be higher value that they swap in their cart instead too. So it's a huge opportunity that I highly recommend, again, jumping into. And what I recommend to those of you as far as a discount is I would set this higher than your sales that you might be running within your shop. So whatever you're running as far as sales in your Etsy business that you may run on a weekly basis or you offer in the sales for the sale events coming up, you could offer maybe 5% more off. And then again, we may get more customers and larger orders by offering a little bit higher for these deals. So the last part of this marketing area that is newer, I, I will say Etsy has been doing this for a little bit off and on, which is make an offer on Etsy. Now this acts kind of like eBay and I'm personally still kind of in between on this, but for me, for my shop, I typically offer a sale a few times a week at most. So I don't necessarily recommend this yet, but I definitely think it's interesting to try out for the holiday season. But again, just keep the standard discount rate of your shop in mind in maybe offering and making an offer to your customers that come to your shop that could impact and maybe get you more sales in the long run. But again, it's something that's still kind of in a experimental phase in my head. So I just wanted to make that known to those of you. So guys, the last thing that we need to talk about is the Etsy search visibility that has came in effect in this past month. Now, this is a new area that shows us how Etsy is really looking at our listings and how their AI systems that they have engaged within Etsy really is tracking our shops and notifying the Etsy algorithm to some degree on how to place our listings in the algorithm and how to rank them over time. This is something you really want to monitor as far as your customer service response rates. You want to make sure that you have high resolution images. You also wanna make sure your main thumbnail image, instead of being maybe a collage, that maybe you're using a circle showing a back of a product instead of just a square or square collages. Collages underperform in comparison to doing maybe a circle and showing within the circle, if that makes any sense. So I just wanna note that here as well. So the other change that has came into effect starting October 1st was the shipping and how that can affect and impact your visibility. So if you have any shipping profiles that are over $6 on listings, you will want to consider changing those. And this is something that I talked about in a past video and I am not the happiest to suggest this to be quite honest, but with the Etsy visibility standards and these new changes, it's something that we do have to put on the table now which is compensating our prices a little bit to be under $6 for shipping profiles. So an example that I've given in the past is if you're selling a Gildan 18,000 crew neck sweatshirt, the shipping is usually around $8. So in order to get it under $6, you would have to take $2 from the shipping and maybe add that into your pricing strategy for that product. Now, I wanna say a lot of print-on-demand companies and providers are very aware of this new change, and I can foresee maybe 
prices changing in the future, but that's just all theories and my hypothesis on that. So now we're gonna talk about some really exciting Printify updates and I've been waiting for for the longest time. So first off, let's talk about Printify's branding. We're seeing a small shift I will say it's been kind of showing up on certain pages. Printify is slowly migrating to a new and improved look. I will say I like both branding though, so that's just my two cents. Outside of that, Printify did change a lot of features. There is a update to bulk orders. So bulk orders are considered 40 items plus now, which is so cool and a lowering of what bulk orders were before. It used to be 50 to 60 plus items in order to qualify for bulk orders. And now it's 40 plus, which is great for us sellers because that means we get more profit as far as a lower quantity of items. With bulk orders in Printify, you do get a higher discount on select products selling with Printify if you hit that threshold of 40 items. And what's really cool too is Printify now allows a mix and match type of combo per print provider. So with the bulk order feature, you can create a bulk order in your My Products section and you would create that bulk order. So if you do happen to get an order that's over 40 products, whether that's from one print provider or two print providers, first you want to check on Printify if they qualify for the bulk order discount. Not all products and print providers qualify, but you can mix and match two print providers. In some cases, at least you qualify. So the super exciting thing to announce is Printify has embroidery. Embroidery. Oh my goodness. Now we're seeing Printify bring embroidery back, which is so, so exciting. And on top of that, guys, we now have Printify Early Access. So we need to talk about Printify Early Access because there are so many exciting products, some being magnetic phone cases to other sling bags and all the products and things I have been waiting for, to be quite honest with you all. There are a lot of fun tumblers and different drinkware that have insulated lids. And it's just such an exciting time for Printify and to be a seller with Printify because there is a plethora of products now. And oh my gosh, I should stop using words that I can't pronounce. I did not go to speech therapy when I was growing up, so I have problems pronouncing TH. And get this, guys, get this. My name is Heather. Can I get the smallest violin playing from that SpongeBob episode? This is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. See? I just want to say I don't believe that there is a maybe quantity or limit to having access. It looks like some accounts can access and some can't. I also wanna say if you're new to Printify, you can use the code HeatherXStudio. I'll link it down below as well to get 30 days free of Printify Premium if you just began. So don't forget to get that opportunity as well. If you get a lot of sales coming in, it does get you more profit over time, which is just a huge plus of Printify Premium. So the next update that came to Printify recently is that all print providers now do branded inserts, the package inserts that you can add a thank you message or a QR code for your next purchase. And on top of that, it gets better you can do gift messaging with every single print provider, which is a huge new update that I personally didn't know about until I was just looking on Printify one day and there it was, the gift messaging and branded inserts is now with all print providers. Hi guys, so Heather from the future, I forgot to mention one update, which is that there is now size chart cards, photo card elements that you can add to your listings, along with adding your own mockups into the listing creation 
area on Printify. Also, you may want to go the extra step in watermarking your mock-up images as well, such as that new size chart and things like that, just in case to protect your IP going forward. But besides that, that's it from Heather from the future. The last few updates that Printify has came out with relate to listing creation. So one of those updates is that now you can AI generate your titles and then also descriptions inside your Printify listing creation area. And on top of that, you can AI generate and create designs on the listing creation tool where you are importing your design or uploading a design. Instead, you can just design on the listing and on the design area itself. I typically recommend using a design software still, but it's still a really cool feature I thought I would mention here. Also to note here that you can connect Fiverr and Shutterfly directly to that design area on Printify within the listings now too, which is really, really cool. That's it. That's all I have for you guys in this video. I know I might have missed a few, so let me know in the comment section if there's any other ones that maybe I can make a part two. Besides that, thank you all for watching. I'm wishing you all the best holiday season and many, many sales this quarter four. Besides that, before you, oh, I just hit something. I just hit my closet door. I hope you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Like this video for more content like this to come your way. And I will see you all in the next video here.